Hello friends and welcome back to another video. Here on this channel I love to talk about preppy fashion and I mainly make videos about women's fashion, you know, I'm a girl. But today's video, it's all about the boys. I am going to run you through the basics of preppy dressing for men and give you a few staple pieces that you can build a preppy wardrobe from. First off, a great staple piece to own is a classic button down shirt. A classic white button down is always a great staple piece as well as a light blue color. In the summertime, you can play around with pastel colors, thinking pinks, lemon, sky blue, maybe a mint green button down. And then for those colder months, going for a plaid shirt is also also a really nice traditional look. I am a particular fan of a patchwork plaid button down shirt. I think those are really fun. There's so many options, but having that classic cut of the button down will give you that traditional look. There's always the option to wear your button down without a tie for that casual look, but you can't really go past a traditional tie, especially if it's striped and in preppy colors. And I also think a bow tie is a really fun preppy addition. You can really add flair to an outfit with a striped tie, gingham, plaid is also a fun option. I think bow ties are a really fun accessory for men. I mean, girls, we've got headbands and all sorts of jewelry and things going on. So a bow tie can add that little bit of flair and personality to an outfit. Now, while we're on the subject of colors, let's talk about traditional preppy colors for a second. Of course, you don't have to stick to a particular color palette to be considered preppy, but it's always good to know those core preppy colors. So a good base color palette to start off with is the navy, military red and white, very patriotic colors. Then you can add colors like sunny yellows or rich greens. Basically just think of nautical flags. Pink is also quite a prominent color in preppy menswear. I just love pink just in general. It's my favorite color. I mean, I'm a bit biased. I've got a pink polo shirt on, but I think pink on men, especially there's something about it. You know, there's that phrase men enough to wear pink and especially pink in combination with green is a very classic country club preppy color combination. Another accessory that you can wear that will add a little bit of flair and personality to your outfit is a needlepoint belt. There's so many fun little designs or motifs that you can get in needlepoint belts that represent the preppy lifestyle. You can go for nautical motifs, so anchors and ropes, yachts, that sort of thing. Or you could go for a sport inspired needlepoint belt, a patriotic one. Smathers and Branson is a company that makes really high quality traditional needlepoint belts. And they have a ton of different designs that you can choose from and you can even create your own belt. I was having so much fun playing around with the create your own belt thing last night. I was just choosing little motifs motifs and things that represented my life. Vineyard Vines also make some great belts that aren't technically needlepoint belts. They do have canvas design ones, braided belts and D-ring belts that all have a preppy flair to them. Moving on, a bit of a staple in men's preppy style is the navy blazer. Ah, the navy blazer. The navy blazer is part of the quintessential preppy uniform. It's kind of become a symbol of preppy lifestyle at this point. So there was no way I couldn't include the navy blazer in this video, all hail the navy blazer. The navy blazer just screams Ivy League style to me as it's traditionally worn as part of a uniform. In fact, the origin of the preppy navy blazer came from the Royal Navy uniforms. So it does have nautical roots like a lot of preppy fashion and over time has evolved to be this symbol of preppy menswear. Some men even own multiple navy blazers for different times of the year and different occasions. Now to complement your navy blazer, you're probably going to want to pick up a classic pair of chinos. Traditionally, they're worn in a khaki color or a khaki color. I always say khaki. Traditionally, they are worn in that khaki color, but really you can get chinos in any sort of color that suits your fancy these days. You can also get embroidered chinos, and I think these are so fun. I've seen chinos embroidered with lobsters or rugby players. They're definitely not for everyone. Like they're a little bit quirky, but they're definitely fun and they show a little bit of personality. You can also get chinos in shorts, obviously for the warmer months. And a pretty foolproof outfit combination for the warmer months is that classic button down with a pair of chino shorts. Creating an outfit combination like that, that's very classic and you can wear and pair in different ways is always a great way to approach dressing. Now I said you can get chinos in lots of different colors. 
and a pretty iconic color to get trousers in is the Nantucket Red. The Nantucket Reds are a particular style of trousers sold in Nantucket, specifically from Murray's Tuggery Shop. And as the Nantucket Red pants fade over time, they become a very specific, dusty, rosy, almost salmon color. Other clothing items to own that are just quintessentially preppy, a cable knit sweater, particularly if you tie the cable knit around your neck, that's always a fun, sporty look. Cricket sweaters always look great, especially if they're layered over a white button down and underneath that classic navy blazer. Polo shirts are also a really good staple in the summer. You can substitute them for those button down shirts and wear them with your chinos. And the polo shirts are fun because you can really play around with colors. And then there's there's seersucker. So seersucker is actually a particular style of fabric. It's very thin stripes and if you actually look very closely or feel the fabric, the stripes are actually raised. It's a puckered fabric. It's a very lightweight yet stylish fabric that is used a lot in the summertime. It's a traditional way to be dressed up in those warmer months but not be absolutely sweltering in your suit. And then for footwear, you might actually want to check out the video that I just made. It's my preppy shoe guide and most of the shoes in that video bar one or two can be worn by men and women so you might want to check that video out next. But two of the shoes that I mentioned in that video, one, boat shoes. Particularly dark brown boat shoes just always look like chef's kiss on a man. I don't know what it is. They just always look really great. Sperry originated the boat shoes and they're still the most popular boat shoe makers around. So check out Sperry. Boat shoes are just great. They're comfortable, classic, and very stylish. And then for more dressed up looks, I would say a classic pair of loafers, again, in a brown leather. You really can't go wrong with a classic pair of loafers. To finish off the video I want to give you some pointers of where you can go to find some more preppy menswear inspiration. First off there's always reddit. The two subreddits that I know of are navy blazer and preppy and most of the style advice that is posted particularly on navy blazer is mostly menswear so you'll find lots of like-minded people on there. I think this is probably due to the fact that reddit seems to be mostly men. It's mostly dudes on Reddit. So if you want to go on Navy Blazer, there's lots of dialogue and places to chat and you can post outfits on there and get some feedback. So that's a great place to check out. I never post on Reddit. I'm a serial Reddit lurker. I love to go on there, peruse and see what's going on, but I never post anything. Maybe I should start posting. That could be fun. Maybe one day, we'll see. And then also another great place for style inspiration is preppy hashtags on Instagram. Hashtags like a preppy style, navy blazer, trad style, Ivy League, they're all really great jumping off points and you can see what other people are wearing and how they're styling their clothes. On Instagram, I would also check out the creator Kyle James Patrick. He has the quintessential preppy men's style just down pat. That man knows what he's doing. He also has his own clothing brand named after him, Kyle James Patrick. Yeah, he's a great person to check out for some menswear style inspiration. He and his wife, Sarah, they just make amazing content. They just, they really do that for all of us. It's just, it's incredible what they create. I do hope you enjoyed today's video. If there's anything else you'd like to add or share about preppy menswear, please do leave it in the comments down below. I always love to get a dialogue going. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I've got tons of other preppy style videos on my channel you might like to check out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.